Okay, welcome to the code long portion of our video. Um, I'm going to introduce, in this first video, I'm going to introduce um, the sort of tools we're going to be using to actually do our code along and do the challenges later. And um, again, just sort of cover some of the concepts and code that we're actually going to write together today. So I'm going to go to a website called jsfiddle.net. Uh, you don't need to navigate there yourselves. I'm just going to introduce it. JSFiddle is an online IDE or integrated development environment, which is a fancy way of saying a code editor. So you can kind of think of it as akin to Microsoft Word for writing a text document or an essay. It essentially allows us to write some code, maybe gives us some error highlighting on where we're going wrong in our code. Um, and some IDEs, for example, JS Fiddle, will allow us to put our code together and run the code and see what the output would be. Um, so I'm going to click jQuery. Uh, I'll explain what, exactly what that is and what we're using it for later when we get to JavaScript. Um, but this is what JS Fiddle looks like. You've got four panels. You have a panel for HTML. That's all of our content and the sort of building blocks of our site. We've got this panel for CSS. All of our styles, our look and feel, our branding and theme, all of that takes place in the CSS. Um, our functionality, our interactivity will happen in our JavaScript panel. And this fourth panel in the bottom right is our output panel. And that's, that pa that's the output that I was referring to earlier. That is taking the combination of our HTML, our CSS, and our JavaScript, what would the browser output, what would be rendered by the browser if we put all of that code together and ran it? Now, in JS Fiddle, um, this is the code that they've given us out of the box as an example. Now, whenever I make a change to any code in JS Fiddle, so for example, at the moment, I'm changing the text that I want to be rendered in the button. I can click run in the top left to run that code to update this output panel in the bottom right. So there, I've edited the text that is within that button, and it now says run the code instead of change color. And so that's going to be really important as we go through and we're doing some code along and you're doing your challenges to make sure every time you make a change to the code, just click run in the top left, and you should see an update in either the content, the styles, or the functionality of this panel here. So that's JS Fiddle. Now, you should be provided with somewhere attached to this video, there should be a starter link um, with some code that looks like this. So we've got some HTML, which I shall introduce in the next video. We've got some CSS, style, targeting and styling that uh, HTML. And we've got no JavaScript, because that's what we're going to be building together, as I talked about in the intro introduction video. And we've got this output that looks something like this. So in this output, we've got some, we've got a main heading introducing us to the page, we've got a button, we've got somewhere where the output can go, and we've got some input boxes for the user to drop in some numbers um, to potentially add or divide or times or whatever by each other. Now at the moment, if I, as a user, put in some numbers and I click calculate, nothing happens. And that makes perfect sense because at the moment we have no JavaScript. There is no interactivity for the elements on the page at the moment because we haven't told the browser that there should be anything that happens when I click that button or when the user inputs anything into these text boxes. So the next step in the next video, I'll introduce JavaScript, I'll introduce some functions, um, and we can start adding some interactivity to this page.